everyone. It's your old pal, Seenable here. Anyways, do you know the young Hegelians? The young Hegel, Babibika? Don't worry, Banga. Basically, no one does. Why did you ask people like they already knew? Uh... So, the story of the young Hegelians begins on August 27th, 1770, with the birth of Georg Wilhelm Friedrich Hegel. Why you doing out here, you know, country bar? Filming something. Why you silly bar? I'm, you better get back in your house or I'm gonna send my dogs after you. You're back. Truly, Hegel became a philosopher. Some, but not all his ideas include um, that we that all their eras can have something to teach the present that um, we should learn from ideas we dislike. And the progress is messy business. Oh, this dude was smart. Philosophers were banga. Most. Um, free market. No regulations. Businesses taking over every government level. And position. Shut up, Murray Rothbard. In 1830, Georg Hegel became the president of the University of Berlin, and the following year, on November 14, 1831, Georg Hegel died of cholera. Cholera? Where did he die? In Namibia? Prussia. Russia? Russia. You mean Russia? Russia? Prussia! Okay, geez, take some Xanax. <clears throat> After Hegel passed away, multiple students at the University of Berlin, including Ludwig, Ludwig Feuerbach, um, Max Stirner, August Kaiskowski, uh, Edgar and Bruno ba Bayer, among others, formed an intellectual group dedicated to Hegel's legacy. They called it the Young Hegelians. Are students actually interested in what their school teaches them instead of just whining about the school system? That's surprising. But what's not surprising is how much I saved on Geico. Anyways, eventually, a young man named Karl Marx became a college student. While in college, Marx listened to many lectures by Bruno Bayer and became good friends with many members of the Young Hegelians and became a member of the Young Hegelians. Though it's important to note that Marx wasn't really a member so much as the six-year-old child that hung on to the Young Hegelians' leg and chased them around, pretty much. Now Karl Marx is crying in his grave. Are you happy now? 1842. Karl Marx became a journalist. And as such, he left the Young Hegelians and became a communist. And um, in November of 1843, he and his wife, Jenny von Westphalen, moved to Paris, France. Um, near the end of August of 1844, in Paris, Marx met Frederick Engels, who would soon become one of his best friends. In the autumn of 1844, the two began working on a book called Critique of the Critically Critical, um, and it was a satirical critique of the Young Hegelians, which Marx was once a part of. 
When it was published in January of 1845, it was renamed The Holy Family. What was it named The Holy Family? Well, the reason for that is that the whole book was kind of a satirical portray of the Bible. The first paragraph of the book was a parody of the very famous Bible verse, John 3.16. And um, the name, the Holy Family, pokes fun at Edgar Bayer and Bruno Bayer, who were brothers and one of the founders, or two of the founders, of the Young Hegelians back in 1831 and 1832. And um, Max Stirner, another founder of the Young Hegelians, along with one of the major founders, Bruno Bayer, were referred to as St. Max and St. Bruno in the book, respectively. Wow, Marx was a bully. And by the end of the 1840s, the young Hegelians had dissolved. Anyways, I hope you have a nice weekend, and I hope you enjoy my next video.